Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know that I haven't made a video in a very long time and one of the reasons that I haven't is because I think I worry a lot about making sure that it's well edited and beautifully shot and that takes a long time and so I'm just going to do it today I guess. More of a vlog style. It is the end of March which means that the weather is changing and I always love switching out my wardrobe every season. So I'm going to walk you through um, packing away my winter clothes and also what I'm going to be bringing out for the spring season. If you're interested, then please keep watching. I am joined by my son, the love of my life, Mosey, who decided to sit on my bed because he knows that this is going to be an exciting one. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mose? He's just licking his feet. So I would say that I do a pretty decent job of organizing my clothes every season. Um, and I make a list of everything that's in my wardrobe for the season and try to track not how much I wear it, but um, just to make sure that I do wear it. So I've kind of done that and then the clothes that I've worn, I sort of moved to the back. So what I'm going to do now is go through my clothes, see what is still appropriate for me to wear in the spring and also put away things that are not appropriate for the next few months. I generally do declutter throughout the season, but if there are items that I haven't worn this winter, I'm going to keep them aside and decide whether I'm going to keep them for next year or maybe I should sell them or give them away to somebody because I definitely don't want to be keeping clothes that I have no use for. So I'm starting out arranging my clothes by category. These are all my winter skirts. I've worn them all this year, which is great. And some of them I would say may be able to carry me into the spring, but some of them may not. So what I'm going to do is try them all on and see what fits me and also realistically decide whether I'm going to be wearing them probably during April, May, um, while it's still cold here in Canada. So I'm a little bit torn about this skirt because it does fit me well. And every time I wear it, I enjoy it, but I don't wear it very often. So I think I'm going to have to sort of push myself to wear it. I think I could wear it with tights in the next couple of months. It is quite short, so it's sort of a winter skirt that I need to wear with something underneath. I wouldn't typically wear this in um, summertime because, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit too short to wear without tights. So this is another skirt that I'm not sure whether I should be putting in my spring capsule wardrobe or not. I've worn it a lot in the winter time. It's short, so I wear it with tights underneath. It has a slit. Um, I've worn it a lot this season. I'm not sure whether it should have a space in my spring wardrobe. It's really versatile and I feel like, you know, you can always wear a black skirt. So I guess I'll just put it in. Okay, so this skirt you can't really see, but it's a beautiful cobalt blue velvet skirt that I got from Zara a few years ago. It's definitely a shorter skirt. It's a thick material, so it's a winter skirt. It reminds me a little bit of like Off-White's fall winter collection a few years ago. Um, I love this. I haven't really worn it that much this year, but I just don't think I'm gonna wear it realistically in the spring and summertime, definitely not the summertime. Um, so I'm gonna put it away for the season. So I got this skirt a couple of years ago from Aritzia. It's a faux leather kind of wraparound skirt. It is the softest material. Um, and it is technically long enough for me to wear without tights, but because of the material and it's sort of got like a thermal lining, I'm not gonna wear this besides the winter time. I did wear it once this year, I think, um, but it's not a problem. I'm gonna be wearing it again in the future. So I'm gonna be putting it away for the season. And you can see that that's my pile over there for stuff to put away for the season. Also, just as a reminder to myself, this brown sweatshirt and brown skirt look cute together. So remember that for next year. So this skirt I've actually had for about 10 years. I used to wear it a lot when I lived in Washington DC to work. I really haven't worn it that much recently. I did wear it on International Women's Day because it's purple. Um, and I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I think I'm going to keep it out for the next season just because like, I can wear it to work, but I'm not sure whether I should keep it or not. What do you think? This skirt I wore on my birthday. It actually has inbuilt shorts, which is really nice, so I don't really have to wear shorts underneath it. 
Um, I'm probably gonna keep it out for the next season. I think I can wear it again. It's actually very cute. It's from H&M and one of my favorite things that I bought recently. So this is another skirt from H&M. I wore it on my birthday week. It doesn't fit me perfectly, but I have a green bodysuit that matches with this and I bought it in the event that I had a fancy event to go to. I don't really have anything scheduled, but this is definitely gonna stay in my sort of formal wear wardrobe and yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, now these are my winter tops. You probably cannot tell them apart. They're all sort of dark colored, full sleeve, sweater-ish material. I'm gonna look through them and see if there's anything that I want to um, give away or donate, um, or if there's anything that I'm gonna keep for the next season. So that's a pile of clothes that I'm gonna be folding away um, for next winter. And then these clothes I'm gonna try on because I'm not sure whether I wanna keep them out or what I wanna do with them. I would say most of my winter tops are quite boring. So I have this uh, heat tech top that I just wear as a thermal or like layering piece in the winter. It's, I'm folded it over, I usually wear it all the way untucked. I mean, it's nothing special, but when it's minus 10 degrees Celsius, you just need to be warm. I got this cotton turtleneck from Valley Village at the beginning of the season, and it served me well. It has a couple of holes um, at the bottom, which are not a big deal, but I'm not really sure whether I wanna keep it for next year. Um, it's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but I don't know. Does it spark joy? So I have a couple of heat tech tops behind me that don't spark joy. They don't fit me amazingly, but they're just kind of necessities. And then the one that I just tried on over here, again, it doesn't spark joy, but I think what I'm gonna do with it is take it with me on vacation this year, um, in the summertime, see if I wear it. If not, I can leave it. It doesn't mean much to me, um, but if I need it, then great to have. This is another top that, I don't know, doesn't really speak to me. It's fine, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but I don't know if it fits me as, sorry, just showing you Mosey. I don't know if it fits me as well as I want it to. I'm gonna try it with a pair of jeans and see, like, is this something that I would wear to work? I don't know. Okay, so I've tried on this top with a pair of jeans. I mean, they fit me, everything fits me, but it's not like making me feel amazing. Would I buy this top now? Maybe if I needed just a basic. Um, I've tried it on with this blazer that I've actually never worn before. It still has a tag on. And I just like don't know how to wear it properly. Um, it gives me very like Pakistani army marching band vibes because of the color. Although I do think the color is beautiful. I also just don't know if it fits me. Like I'm really confused. What should I do about this? So I think in terms of the top, I'm just gonna keep it for the spring season, see if I wear it. I'm really conflicted about the blazer because I haven't worn it. I've had it for at least three years of which we have been in a pandemic, but I've just never worn it. It still has a tag on. I don't think I would buy it now if I was to see it in a store, but I'm like, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know. So what I think might help me decide is trying on my other blazers and seeing what is it that I'm looking for. Are there any blazers that spark joy for me or maybe have I outgrown the style that I previously had? So right now, this is too long for me in terms of my arms. Um, I am a shorter gal, so I do generally need to uh, hike up the sleeves a little bit. So I'm gonna do that right now and see how I feel. So I don't feel like that bitch in this blazer. Again, absolutely nothing wrong with it. I do think it fits me. If anything, it's a teeny bit big, but like it doesn't make me feel like amazing, you know? Like if I'm out here supposed to be bringing my best to the world, it's not in this outfit. Sorry. Um, I think this one is fine. Like I think this is the outfit that I'm gonna try to wear to work and see how I feel in it. I don't know if I love the pinstripes. I feel like they're a bit intense, a bit aggressive, but at the same time, like it's not a bad look, fits me fine. I don't know. I just don't think that the style of the blazer is as structured as I would like it to be, but it's fine. So I'm gonna try it. Okay, so this is another one. 
Um, it fits me fine, but does not spark joy, doesn't make me feel amazing. It fits me, but I don't know. I just, I don't think this is really my style. Is it? I don't know. I'll have to ask my sister when she gets back. Now this black blazer, I really like. I don't know if it's just because it's black and I feel the most comfortable wearing black clothes or there is something about the style that really just suits me. If I was going to choose one blazer, which probably in a work wardrobe I would need more than one, but where I work it's very casual and I only need one maximum, it's this one for sure. I do have another blazer that's quite formal, definitely not a <laughs> workwear type of blazer that fits me really well. So I kind of feel like I have a comparison of what I want the blazer to fit like. So I'll try that on for you in a sec. All right, so this is that other blazer. It's definitely a party blazer. I wore it for my birthday a couple of years ago when I turned 30 and also this year. It's not the same cut as a workwear blazer, like for sure. But I really enjoy the way that I look in this. I don't think that actually I could have a workwear blazer with the same cut because it is a bit long. Um, so that's that. But see, I know that I feel good in this one. What's that about? Okay, now this is a coat that I've held onto for years because it is unique. And every year, flowers come back for spring, summer trends, whatever. And I feel like, oh, hey, I have this. But at the same time, I don't like, I mean, it looks good on me, <laughs> but I don't know if I would buy this again. Like if I didn't find this vintage, like for quite cheap, would I buy this for $100? No, I don't think so. But you know what? It's here. And so I'm going to try to wear it this spring. I've had this trench for close to 15 years. Um, I lost the tie of it a million years ago at a college party, so I was trying this one. It looks stupid. Let's get rid of it. Besides that, I think it's quite cute. It's a nice little trench. Fits me well. Um, never really goes out of style. I think I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Had it for this long. What's the harm? <laughs> you know what I mean? Literally had this for 15 years. All right, so let me talk about this top a little bit. This is Michael Kors Via Winners. It's a really comfortable top, but it started pilling, I mean, like the day that I got it. I knew that it wasn't good quality, but at the same time, I really liked it. It's also really hard for me to wear brown because it needs to be a very specific shade without washing me out or like blending too much with my skin tone. It also doesn't fit me like amazingly, like it's neither oversized nor is it like a very slim fit. So I'm not really sure what to do with it. I'm going to keep it out for the next season for spring. I'm going to try and wear it and I'm going to decide what I want to do after that. The good thing is like Michael Kors has some resale value. <laughs> so if anything, I mean, I can put it on Poshmark or even donate it somewhere because it's a decent brand. I really like this sweater and I've worn it a lot this winter and so for that reason I'm not going to put it in my spring capsule wardrobe because I kind of feel like I'm a little bit sick of it and I want to make sure that I still feel great about it next year when I pull it out in the winter time. This is kind of an interesting one even though it looks quite similar to that previous sweater. This is actually a velvet bodysuit. I've had it for many years. It used to be one of my favorites actually and surprisingly it doesn't fit me that well anymore even though I weigh less than when it used to be one of my favorites so I don't know how that works I don't know if that's just like getting older and preferences changing or what exactly but I do like this because it gives me a couple of formal-ish options during the winter time so I'm gonna put this away for now but I don't know having second thoughts about it as well all right this is the last of my tops to try on I've had this bodysuit for many years. It is a old favorite. I probably shouldn't have worn a bright pink bra to do a try on, but this is this is a good top. I feel great in it. I haven't actually worn it this year, but I'm gonna keep it in my spring capsule wardrobe and hopefully I'll get some use out of it. I'm also gonna use this as a top to try on my jeans and other pants to see 
whether I like the way that they fit. So with these black jeans, these have been kind of like in my maybe pile for a couple of years now. And it's because they don't not fit me, like they fit me fine, <laughs> but I don't love them. I also know skinny jeans are not like the most stylish, but I'm still a millennial and I do feel most comfortable in skinny jeans. So it's not like, like there's nothing wrong. Do I fix it if it ain't broke? But for now, I'm going to keep them and they've been useful for trying on outfits. So these are an interesting pair of pants for me. Um, they are like faux jeans. They are from Banana Republic, I believe. I don't remember the name of the rise, but I have a few like this. What's their name? Can't remember. Anyway, this fits fine. I look like a cute little beatnik and you know, fits me okay. So I think I'm gonna keep these. I don't know, they're a bit short. <laughs> I probably put them in the dryer when I shouldn't have, but for now they fit me okay, so I'm gonna keep them. So these are another pair of those Sloan pants. I do have them in like tons of different colors. I don't know. I don't know, I'm not a white pants kind of a girl, but these are my first pair of white pants. They seem like a lot is showing. Like, I think they fit me okay, but like, I just feel like a lot of camel toes happening and I don't know if that's the move. I don't know, I don't know. May have to say goodbye to these guys. I don't know. But I'm also like, are these the kind of pants that I could wear in Pakistan with like a longer linen shirt? Maybe, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of them but they may not go in my spring wardrobe. Here's another pair of jeans that I'm kind of conflicted about. They fit me fine. They fit me great. I don't feel amazing in them, but they're very comfortable. I don't know, what more do I want from a pair of jeans? Like, what do I want from this pair of jeans? They're doing what they do, but I don't love them. But I'm gonna keep them for now. Okay, two more pairs of jeans, this one and that one. Um, so this is a smaller size than the previous jeans and they just came out of the wash. So they are feeling a little bit snug right now. They're very stiff, but I do think these are the right size for me. Um, even though they're not looking like a maze right now, but I think they're fine. They're okay for now. They're not sparking joy. Maybe jeans are just not sparking joy for me right now. And um, yeah, I'm gonna keep them in my closet for the springtime. We'll see, we'll see if they last till summer. Who needs jeans? I mean, like who said you have to have a pair of jeans in your wardrobe at all times? Who made up that rule? Why do I have to follow that rule? Now this pair of jeans is really weird because it fits me well around my waist and around my butt, I would say, but it is weirdly tight around my calves and I don't have like, the biggest calves in the world so i don't know what that's about also i'm wondering are they a little short i don't know i don't know i think i have to force myself to wear these if i don't wear them then like they gotta go i've had them for a long time they have served me very well i do like them but like what the fuck is going on around my calves like that's insane why are they so tight oh my goodness I feel like they're so tight, they're like pulling my jeans down. What's happening? So this pair of pants is really special to me because this is kind of my like baseline, these fit me when I feel good about my body type of pants. I don't nearly wear them enough because they are a bit louder than my typical style, but you know what? I'm gonna put them in my spring wardrobe and I'm gonna see if I wear them, they do fit me right now, which is a good sign. And yeah, I should wear them. I love this pair of pants. I think they're so cute. What I do not love about them is how tiny the pockets are. Like having pockets on my pants is a non-negotiable for me at this stage of my life, at this big age. But these pockets, it's like neither here nor there. Otherwise, I do like them. I think they fit me well, they make my butt look good. So yeah keeping these guys. These are my Hillary Clinton pants. <laughs> I've had them for quite some time and then I took them out of my wardrobe because they were a little bit big for me. They're still a little bit loose but you know what sometimes you need loose pants. 
I call them my Hillary Clinton pants because I also went to Wellesley like Hillary and there's a picture of her sitting in a common room or a library wearing very similar pants to these. So that's why they're my Hillary Clinton pants. I call these my Italian pants because they kind of give me 1960s-ish Sophia Loren, Isabella Rossellini vibes. I don't know if there's actually any documentation of them wearing pants like this, but they give me Italian vibes. Um, I'm gonna keep them for now for the same reasons I'm keeping my Hillary Clinton pants out because sometimes you just need Lucy pants. Although they don't fit me as well as I would like them to. I think that they should be a little bit tighter in the waist, um, but I think I might be needing some Lucy pants in the springtime. I forgot about a couple things. So this bodysuit, I think I'm gonna keep out for now. It doesn't fit me like amazingly, but it's fine. Um, this is another skirt that I decided to keep out. It's, I think, work appropriate with some tights on and yeah, it's not really a skirt that I get that much wear out of, so I need to figure out why that is. This top is another one that's kind of been on my not sure list for a couple of years, basically because of the color. I think otherwise it fits me quite nicely, but it's sort of, I don't know, it's too close to my skin tone. Also, this is just to show that the skirt has some cutouts which are really cute you normally never really see them because I wear it with black but meh I'll keep this for now the top that is and then finally I have this top it is neither here nor there for me it's just a purple cotton full sleeve top with this like wrap detail sometimes it really rides up um and so it's not really appropriate for winter and then other times when I pull it all the way down it's fine um I guess I'll keep it in my spring capsule wardrobe for now. This is definitely the kind of top that I would take with me on vacation in the summertime because you always need like a layer at night. And so this is perfect for that. It's lightweight, but covers up. I also like to wear full sleeves in the summer because I burn easily. And yeah, having a nice lightweight cotton top like this is great for that time of the year as well. Just kidding, found a couple more things. So this skirt I've had for a very long time. It's a great workwear skirt, gonna keep it in my capsule wardrobe. This top, like I have had it for at least five years now and it's not gotten a lot of wear in my wardrobe. It doesn't fit me perfectly. It's a slightly boxy look and that can make me look larger than I am. Um, it's fine. I think I'm going to keep it just for this season and then see if I get wear out of it or not. I have one more top to try on and then I think, I think I'm done. This, like the other one, like I want it to fit better than it does. Um, in many ways it should be great because it's like black, it's this nice thick knit material. It has this white line which should be flattering in some ways but at the same time doesn't really do all that much for me. I don't know. Um, I have tried to wear it in the past as like a sweater vest, but that's like not really my style. So I don't know. I'm going to keep it for now. We'll see. Maybe I'll try it again as a sweater vest. Hmm. We don't know. So that is going to be my capsule wardrobe for the next two months or so. You can see I have one, two, three, four, four skirts. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight pairs of pants, two sleeveless kind of knitted tops, two bodysuits, one full sleeve t-shirt, I guess two full sleeve t-shirts, and then three of these sort of knitted tops, and then a couple of sweatshirts in the back here that sort of stay in my closet year round. This one says Toronto versus everybody, and Mosey has gone into my closet as well so thanks for watching i hope it was interesting i don't know i enjoy watching these kind of videos that other people put out so hey i thought i'd do my own and i will probably be doing a similar video in about two months time so stay tuned for that as well thanks for joining um you can check out my instagram at where i've been and on medium i am at summer i'll put the links in the description thank you